G'day, welcome back. This is a measurement video on the volume of a pyramid this time. Volume of a pyramid, here's a pyramid. Volume equals one third A times H. Let's check it out. The V stands for volume. The A is uh, standing for the area of the base. Now the area of the base might be found by a rectangle formula or a square or whatever. It might even be a triangular pyramid. So whatever the shape of the base is, if we find that area, it'll go in there into the formula. And the H is the perpendicular height from the base up to that very top point there. That perpendicular, the word perpendicular means at 90 degrees too. So if we could draw straight, we'd say straight down there to the centre of the um, base at 90 degrees. That's where the perpendicular height is measured. Here's an example here. We've got a base of 10 by 6 metres and a perpendicular height of 8 metres. Let's piece together the volume of a pyramid here. So we have volume equals one third times the area of the base. Now I think the area of the base will be rectangular, yes. 6 times 10 will get us the area of the base times the perpendicular height, which is 8 there. Not a lot of uh, ways to go wrong there. We're just uh, substituting all those numbers into the formula, letting our calculator do the work. And we get 160. Our meters are going to be, sorry, our units are going to be meters cubed, cubic meters for volume. Got a little 3 up the top every time. All right, so that's substituting in the area of the base there. The area of the base was the 6 by 10 bit. That's where we got those two, and the perpendicular height was the 8. The 1 third was in the formula anyway. Okie dokie, so that's the volume of a pyramid. You'll remember the area of the base times the perpendicular height times a third, and we've got our volume. And that's done. Thanks for listening. PeterBlakeMath.com. Catch you next time.